Welcome to the Arachaic Journal channel. Today, we're answering an intriguing question. How does light travel from space to Earth? Let's discover the answer together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and use super thanks to support our channel. Before we dive into today's content, I have some exciting news. In celebration of the admin's birthday, we're holding a special giveaway. 10 lucky winners will receive an exclusive NASA pin. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to the Arachek Journal channel, and comment below on why you enjoy watching our channel. We'll announce the winners on August 31st, 2024. Don't miss out on this special opportunity. Let's start by understanding what light is. Light is a form of energy that can travel through a vacuum without the need for a medium. It's part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which includes infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. The light we see with our eyes has wavelengths between 400 and 700 nanometers. Light from stars or the sun must travel through the vacuum of space before reaching Earth. The speed of light in a vacuum is approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, or about 186,282 miles per second. This incredible speed allows light to travel vast distances quickly. For example, light from the sun takes only 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth, even though Earth is about 150 million kilometers away from the sun. As light travels through space, it may interact with various objects like planets, nebulae, or clouds of gas. While space is mostly a vacuum, it's not completely empty. These objects can reflect or refract light, creating the images we see from Earth. For instance, the moon reflects sunlight, allowing us to see it in the night sky. Or, when light passes through the Earth's atmosphere, it scatters, giving us the blue sky during the day. Section 4. Entering Earth's Atmosphere When light reaches Earth, it must pass through the atmosphere. The atmosphere contains gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and water vapor, which scatter light in different directions. This scattering causes the sky to appear blue during the day, and gives the sun its orange-red hue during sunrise and sunset. For example, when you look at the sun during the evening, it often appears deep orange. This happens because the sunlight has to pass through a thicker layer of the atmosphere, scattering blue light more and leaving the orange-red light for us to see. Section 5. Light's Interaction with Earth's Surface once light reaches Earth's surface, it is either reflected or absorbed by various surfaces such as land, water, plants, and buildings. The way light interacts with these surfaces is what allows us to see objects and colors in our environment. Conclusion So, how does light travel from space to Earth? It begins as light generated by stars or the sun travels through the vacuum of space, interacts with objects along the way, passes through Earth's atmosphere, and finally reaches the surface, allowing us to see the world and the universe in all its beauty. Question for audience. Have you ever wondered how long it takes for light from other stars to reach Earth? And if those stars were to go out, how long would we still see their light? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and use Super Thanks to support our channel. Also don't miss out on the chance to win an exclusive NASA pin. We'll announce the lucky winners on August 31st, 2024. See you in the next video. Bye!